Hello everyone, it's Dick here. The first cake electric motorcycle I got to ride was the Kalk, which in English means lime. There are two street legal versions out of the eight iterations that Cake offers of their flagship and inaugural bike. The Kalk Inc. Ampersand is offered at 10,780 pounds. Key stats for the bike is a top speed of over 90 kilometers per hour or 56 miles per hour and a range of 86 kilometers or 53 miles. The Kalk Ampersand is the bike that I rode, which starts at 12,760 pounds with identical performance numbers, but is equipped with the more expensive Olin suspension. The Kalk has a removable 50 amp or 2.6 kilowatt hour lithium cell battery. 50 amp hours means that the battery can provide 50 amps per hour. An amp is the unit of measure for electrical current. Current is the speed or rate at which the electrons flow through a conductor. The equivalent is 2.6 kilowatt hours, which of course is how many kilowatts can be provided in an hour. An amp is equal to 1,000 times kilowatts divided by volts. Volts, of course, being the standard international unit of electrical potential or electromotive force. Again, all of this is provided in an 18650 lithium cell battery. The bike has three riding modes, explore mode, or mode one is limited to 45 kilometers per hour with a three to four hour range. The excite mode or mode two is the enduro or active trail riding mode with one to two hours of range. And the excel mode three is the track and race mode with maximum torque, which is up to 260 Newton meters of torque on some of the Kalk models and a greatly reduced one hour ride time. The Kalk is estimated in ride time as opposed to distance for its range as it's modeled after an enduro motorcycle. Enduro motorcycles calculate their usage in hours similar to airplanes as they require just as much maintenance. In addition, the Kalk has three braking modes, which allows for various levels of regeneration or simulated engine braking. The freewheel mode one provides no regeneration or simulated engine braking. The two-stroke mode has medium simulated engine braking and regeneration, and the four-stroke mode rides nearly like a petrol motorcycle with simulated engine braking and the most available regeneration. It takes three hours of charge time from zero to 100% charge on a battery and two hours of charge time from zero to 80 percent charge it is chain driven although i am told newer versions of the street oriented calcs will soon have kevlar belt drives it's powered by an internal permanent magnet motor which has 5.8 kilowatts of nominal power and 10 kilowatts of peak power these power calculations are expressed in kilowatts as an expression of the motor's mechanical output rating its ability to deliver the torque needed for the load at rated speed nominal power meaning regular riding and peak power Power meaning riding at its highest performance settings. All of this power is the output of the power at the shaft, not at the wheel. For us old farts used to horsepower statistics, 5.8 kilowatts of nominal power equates to 7.7 .7 brake horsepower, and 10 kilowatts of peak power equals 13.4 brake horsepower. It has 42 newton meters of torque at the motor axle, which translates to a whiplash inducing 252 newton meters of torque at the wheel. It has 200 millimeters of front suspension travel, 205 millimeters of rear suspension travel. It has a 300 millimeter or 11.75 inch ground clearance, a dizzying 910 millimeter or 35 and three quarters inch seat height and a 1310 millimeter or 51 and a half inch wheelbase. The battery weighs 17 kilograms. The bike weighs 66 kilograms. If I'm reading the website correctly, the Olin's version is four kilograms lighter and the max permittable load, which I don't think is a word, is 180 kilograms or 397 pounds, including the bike, the battery and the rider. I'm not entirely sure what any of that means means but it appears to be a maximum load calculation and it rides on 19 inch wheels front and back let's see if i can throw one of my legs over it and take it for a ride yeah. okay so i'm gonna walk you through all right this bike. so all right. we've got the kill switch on here that's normally got the toggle on it which i've stolen to uh, keep our bike safe for us today okay uh, we then press this button down and that powers the bike up so you see we've got lights and the screens coming on all right so once that comes on it's going to offer us a pin code configurable uh, to whatever the customer would like to change it to. We'll okay. keep it simple, so it's one, two, and three. Okay, ooh, I just felt something. Yeah, so that's the, you'll feel that little ping. Yeah. So a traditional bike, you can feel the vibrations, you hear the heat, you yeah. don't get that with electric, right? Okay. So that noise is to simulate that and to so it's... remind you that the throttle is now live, basically. Okay. So people often forget that the throttles go live now, Yeah. and then they'll grab a, 
handful of throttle and shoot a bike down the road. Sure. So it's just to remind you the bike's on. Okay. So we've got ride modes and brake modes on the screen here. Brake is actually engine braking oh, and good. regeneration for oh, the battery. Oh, cool. All right. And the ride mode is sort of the aggressiveness of the power delivery uh, and the cap of the top speed. Okay. So ride mode one will cap the bike at around 30 miles an hour. All right. Quite sedate in its acceleration. Yep. Two will cut the bike at 45 miles an hour, a little bit more aggressive in acceleration. Okay. And three will cut the bike at 60 miles an hour okay. and be the most aggressive sure. that we've got acceleration. All right. So I tend to start people on two, see how you get on. Okay. We'll pull over a couple of times so you can switch around sure. and see how the different power feels. Brake modes. So like I said, regeneration and engine braking. One is much like a mountain bike. So as you get off the bottle, the bike will just free wheel. Okay. Two. The bike will feel like a two-stroke bike, so you'll feel right. a little bit of engine braking, it'll pull you in a little bit, that's going to keep the battery levels topped up. All right. And then three, the same but much more aggressive, so that'll be quite severe engine braking, okay. much more like a big four-stroke bike, and that's going to give you the best regeneration into the battery. I was going to say, so you're getting more engine braking response from the engine the motor yeah and but you're not but you're you're actually getting a benefit from from doing it some well. sort of regeneration yes yeah, so you're regenerating the battery keeping the power levels up okay um controls wise we've got front brake on the right yeah back brake on the foot which yep. you're already resting on and then your sort of traditional motorcycle controls on the left which okay. I'm sure you're familiar with indicator and all that indicators yeah. just here okay and then push to cancel okay horn yeah i dipped and then you've got a pass light on the front as well all right um so if you just want to get yourself comfortable and adjust your mirrors and bits and bobs i'm going to grab a helmet and okay we'll cool okay? there's a beeping and a buzz in my ass this has a never carry passenger sign on this bike so you're not allowed to carry a pillion on this i wonder if that's listed on the insurance Huh, interesting. There's an engine warning light here. Oh, there's um, electrical tape holding on this indicator. And they're facing up in the sky for some reason. Awesome. <laughs> we don't like the noise of this. This sounds like that engine braking. Rear brake is competent, nice and I can lock up that rear brake, obviously no ABS. suspension sag there is I'm getting a real reaming in my ass oh the seat is very uncomfortable and I do not like the like a enduro bike the handlebars are way too low to stand up on pegs Ugh. oh 
god. Rough ride. The power is good. The power delivery is good. It feels motorcycle. I mean, ride to and brake to, which means I have a little bit of engine braking. And the engine braking is noticeable and usable. Ride 2. Ride 2 is really spirited. Regen 3. This is more noticeable, but I'm going to try his game and see about using the regen instead of the brakes. It, regen on 3 is very much a, a clunk. <clears throat> you feel a clunk. I didn't notice that on on two. The balance is, on this is really nice as well. Well, the only suspension is nice. It's just the seat that's doing it a disservice. I think. Higher rise on the bars would be more comfortable. I'm not a short. Uh, higher rise on the. My, my mirror has given up the ghost. Okay, it's not adjustable that way. Okay, that's unusable. I'm not a tall guy, but still the, uh, a little bit of a rise in the handlebars would be... The balance is great. You can like track stand with this bike. No ABS. Okay, well, well, uh, I'm having a fun time. I'm smiling. It, it's, I always like a motorcycle ride that puts a smile on my face. However, you have to keep in mind that the smile on this bike is coming with a 12 grand price tag and I'm hoping that maybe the less expensive ones or the lower powered ones will be as fun or as much of a smile on my face this thing has a ignore me <laughs> I just slid has the most powerful battery, the most powerful motor, and the longest run time, ride time, and the highest, highest top speed. I haven't gotten over 20 miles an hour, maybe 22 miles an hour, and I'm still having a good time on it. I'm getting, my hands are tired. I don't know if I'm, I've got a death grip on this or if it's just uncomfortable because I'm not necessarily leaning. Maybe I'm leaning off weighting my ass a little bit because of how uncomfortable the seat is. Oh, the balance is amazing on this. It just 
can't get over how, other than the the body pains that this thing is inflicting on me, and the weird noises. I don't like these this beep it, at idle, quote unquote idle. I don't like this this kind of sounds like something needs to be adjusted for the the ride sound that we're getting. But the the performance is really fun and. God, my hand is asleep. I don't know if you can hear the dink. Dink. That means it's on. That's the idle. That's the engine kind of at idle. Dink. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it? I'm just wondering how often. Oh, like ten or twelve seconds between, between little pings. pings. I've never counted, but I trust your judgment. And that one came quicker, though. I wonder if it notices that I'm off it. Uh, not to my knowledge, but I think. Yeah, that yeah, was six insane. seconds. When I'm sitting on it, it was like 10 to 12 seconds, and now that I'm off it, it's like six to I'll seven have to do seconds. Some research on that. I'm not aware of a sensor, but maybe. Okay. Um, or maybe it's just relieved I'm off it. <laughs> you got it? Stuff. If you like that video and you want to see more like them, hit like, share, and subscribe.